Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another BJ and Co. Sky Factory 3 Minecraft tutorial, achievement hunting guide, whatever you want to call it. We're in Sky Factory 3. We're cruising through this achievement book, and we're showing you guys exactly what you need to know in order to get things done. Today, we are continuing on the Stone Age, and hopefully finishing up everything that's left in here, because there's not that many left. So, uh, as you can see, we have done a little bit of preemptive work. We've given ourselves a bit more space to do some of the things. We're going to be making a smeltery today, uh, getting some obsidian going on, and uh, you'll notice there's a whole bunch more of these wonderful chests all over the place because our farm, our farm down below is doing all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things and giving us loot bags, which can get um, all sorts of different items for us. Now... When I initially built my mob farm, I built another mob pen here because I wanted to expand it. Um, totally forgot the fact that this is only one block wide, right? I can be a block beside and it doesn't do it. And our block, our room is three or five blocks wide, fairly decent. So um, what we will be working towards at some point, guys, just to increase the efficiency of that is some of these upgrades. But I, of course, don't have enough aluminum yet. So hopefully with the smeltery and everything, that will help. But let's get straight on into this obsidian with a stone barrel so first things first guys stone barrel how do i make a stone barrel well it's pretty easy we've got a furnace so we can smelt up stone stone and three across the bottom gets us a slab six pieces of stone and one slab gets us a barrel and i'm gonna make four of them so we've got the barrels barrels of fun barrels of fun where do i want to put them down i'll just do this for now and uh the stone barrels to make obsidian what you need to do is we need some lava, so we're going to go over to our stone crucible here. We're going to grab a bucket of lava. Remember, use an iron bucket for this or you waste your clay one. You throw it down in, and then the next thing that you need is some water. Now, this you can use a clay bucket for, no problem. And all you do is you just put a source block right on top of it, and bam, you get your obsidian. So that gives us one. Now, we had talked about our mob farm isn't automatically collecting things, so we are actually going to grab... Um, few more pieces of obsidian here so that we can create the wonderful little item which is kind of a sidetrack from today's plan but uh show you guys how to actually automate the mob farms so that's all you need to do to get your obsidian i uh do need a little bit more because uh the end of today's episode we the last thing we want to do is get uh, enchant a sieve mess which means we're going to need something to enchant with and uh, the easiest one I can think of is, why not grab an enchanting table? <gasps> Simple and easy, not too fancy. But So uh, before we jump on into the Tinker Smeltery and everything, we are going to show you guys how to get your item collector, which will greatly speed up your uh, mob farm down below. So this, all it is, is an ender pearl, which you should be able to get from your mob farm now. You'll need a hopper, which is fairly easy to make, and then the obsidian we've got. So uh, ender pearls, I mean... I've got a whole whack ton sitting around from just the mob farms that go back, collect every so often, guys. Uh, hopper is easy, a chest in iron. You should know that from vanilla Minecraft. So we're gonna grab that. And then if we dump this in here, boom, 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 there's our item collector. And now if we go on down and just, oh, 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 God, oh, God. oh I've got slime boots. <laughs> I love me, my slime boots. Um, they are dropped from loot bags and uh, they are freaking fantastic to just i mean no fall damage like fantastic fantastic but we're just gonna grab this and stick it can i fit it right on the top there we go and now we should see that it's oh yeah because i only had cakes in here to start with so now as things die this should fill up and collect everything from in the mob farm and then you can take it where you want if you want to use some transfer nodes or some cabling or however you want to do it. I'm sure we'll get into much more of that later on as we clean up this place. But uh, that saves you having to turn the mob fans off, go open the side of the wall, walk inside, collect everything, go hand bomb it somewhere. So definitely want to show you guys how to do that because we needed the obsidian for it. So the next step, we've done this. Uh, the neat thing here, automate your cobble with cobblestone generator block or a transfer node. Well, we showed you guys right off the bat how to get the generator block. So boom, that is so done, 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 done. 
Just go doing it the slow way right off the bat. There's no sense doing it. So next we want to get a Tinker's Construct Smeltery. Now this is going to be a little bit of building and this takes a few, few different items. First things first, what we need is um, we need some grout because we need to turn grout into seared bricks. So grout is just a piece of gravel, piece of clay, piece of sand. You can check out our previous episodes if you can't remember how to do this, but it's all hammering, hammering and throw some dust and water to get clay. So this gets us some grout and I'm grout. Mwah. When you throw the grout into the furnace, you will see you get wonderful, wonderful, wonderful seared bricks if they will come out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! There we go. So, Sir Brick Tinker's Construct. And as you can see, I've kind of prepped this right now because we are going to need to use the seared bricks in all sorts of different ways to get the different pieces of the smeltery that we need. So, first things first, we're just going to need a whole ton of seared bricks. These are the base building blocks from the... Um, so, seared brick, seared bricks. Man, those names. These are the base building blocks of the smeltery itself. So we're just going to grab as many as we can out of that stack. And I'm going to show you guys some of these other items. So this is the smeltery controller. This is the brains, which lets you see what's going on and everything. So we're going to need at least one of those. This is a drain. So this lets us take things out or put it in to the smeltery. So we're going to, I mean, one for sure to start. We're also going to need something to heat up the smeltery with. And uh, it needs to be stored in somewhere. We'll be using lava right off the bat, but we need a seared tank. So again, bricks just around the glass. Pretty simple crafting recipes. You do have any eye. Uh, this faucet will be used with our drain to get things out or into the smeltery. And then we need a casting table so we can actually kind of use it to make casts. And then the opposite way, we need a basin. And this will allow us to um, empty the smeltery into bricks or and turn the smelted items into bricks. So we've got all of these wonderful items. Now, how do, we, how do we put this all together? Well, as you can see over here, I've kind of set up a... Uh, Smeltery. You can smelteries can be a wide variety of sizes. I think they can be as small as a three by three, so like three on the side. I'm going with a four by four right now. You can see I've moved my tinker stuff close by as well too. And uh, what you need to do is uh, I'm just going to be a little careful here. The smeltery you have to have the bottom of the smeltery uh, out of seared bricks. All right. So the very very bottom here has to be seared bricks. So we're going to fill this in. But then the corners do not uh, necessarily have to be seared bricks. But everywhere that I've got the actual cobblestone put down, we will have to be seared bricks as well. So we're kind of just making... The seared bricks are, I guess, they're immune to the molten, um, the molten metals. So that's why we want to have this all down. And you can see it's taking quite a few pieces of seared brick in order to get this. I'm almost, well, 23, so I've used 16 already. And then here, the neat thing is we do not have to fill in these corner spaces. So that's kind of nice. Um, along the back here, I'm just going to make it completely out of... I mean, I guess I guess I can bane mine this, get it out of the way. Whew. I always worry when doing that with stone. So along the back, that's not too bad. Now, along the front here, I guess at the bottom... Oh, God, I hope I'm going to have enough. Um... On this side, so now we're going to start putting out some more interesting things. And let's start with the smeltery controller and the smeltery drain. Those are the two that we're looking for. So we need both of these in order for the smeltery to work. The controller, we can't click into it yet. The drain, um, we will be filling with lava. But there we go. So now this is kind of a single layer smeltery. We should be able to, yeah, we've got some flames here. We can click in. It's got 16 spaces to smelt items i'm gonna go grab us another piece of lava god i hope it's done i hope it's done melting i hope it's so done melting i don't know why i'm picking weird voices oh so close so close let's uh pick up the rest of my seared bricks if i've got them somewhere oh i've got none left Ugh. okay we're gonna finish up adding some more stuff to this so this is enough to start smelting things once we get the lava in here but we need to be able to get things out as well. So we're going to want to put a drain. I'm just going to start my drain here. And uh, in order for the drain to be functional, we have to build up the next level as well. So you can see, going through quite a few seared bricks in order to get this done. Oh, I need six more. Womp, 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 womp. But we've got the drain. I'll stick the faucet on the outside so it's got something to pour out of. 
I'm going to start us, we'll, we'll start with the casting table down here. And then I will be back with some lava and some more seared bricks. All right, guys. So you can see we've got some lava. It's in here. We can also see that we have, uh, it's filled up our lava gauge a little bit as well. And then we're just going to drop down the last of our blocks. So now we have too high, and as soon as we've hit too high, it's blocked in all the way around. If we jump into our controller, you can see this inventory is now bigger. It's now up at 32 different slots. So that's how many items we can smelt all at once. So how do we smelt things? Well, we just need some sort of ingot or some sort of ore in general. So let's hear, we're going to grab some gold ore because, uh, and I suggest doing gold first. You got to be careful when you're working in a smeltery because you can mix items together to make new things which is um great i mean the, the new items can be very helpful for you and be needed down the line but say you put a bunch of gold in and you put a bunch of iron in but you really need the gold for something it might all mix together and then you're screwed because then you can't use any of the gold that's in there because it's mixed into something else so just be careful about that and so you can see here we can just uh take one we can right click it in and this these the, uh, these unfortunately are too small gold ore pieces will not smelt womp 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 but it's just like you can't smelt them in a furnace either. So we're going to make a whole bunch of ore chunks. Jump it in here and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. We can see it's all smelting up. You can see the little gauge around each one. I mean, I'm going to jump the whole stack in. But each one's smelting its way up. Right now in the capacity. So we could fit 256 ingots inside, inside our smeltery right now. So this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 ingots worth if we were putting this into a furnace. So it would be very interesting to see how this goes. So six of the ingots are done, but we've got 12 ingots of space in there. So the smeltery is fantastic, guys, because it actually doubles the amount of ingots that you get. So here we've got, from what we would have got 12 out of a furnace, we have now got 24 ingots through the smeltery. Double your money! Woo! So that is fantastic. So we have, uh, we have done... We have done it. We have made a Tinker's Construct Smeltery for processing ore, and we know ore can get in there. Now we want to upgrade an existing Tinker's tool with a metal part. So, I mean, we've got uh, we've got a Tinker's tool. We've got a flint hatch. I mean, how, how are we going to upgrade this? Well, we need to make parts, and we can make parts by kind of smelting things in. But, uh, so first things first, I'm going to grab us... Um, let's do copper. I don't think copper and... Let's just, let's just take a quick peek here. Make sure that copper and gold don't mix. So what I'm doing there, guys, is I'm just kind of right-clicking on NEI. Um, so in NEI, search for copper, right-click on the molten copper, and this shows you in the smeltery. So copper and nickel together will make constantin. Copper and tin together will make bronze. Copper and aluminum will make aluminum brass. And copper and zinc will make brass, but we do so it will not mix with copper and gold. So we are safe bet to throw some copper in there, and we'll make a, a copper tool piece, which I mean doesn't sound super amazing, but hey, we're doing it for the the uh, action guys. Now, how are we going to cast the molten metal? Um, it's not going to work. We can't take this wonderful pattern and stick it in here because it'll just burn it. This is what the molten metal will just burn it right up. However, we can uh, take one of these parts that we have made previously out of something, some different type of material. Oh, not, not that book then. Not the book. And uh, so we've got our flint axe head, and if we stick it down here, now we can pour stuff out. Now, to make casts, you need gold. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that whatever you want to pour out is at the bottom here. And you can do it just by clicking on what you want. So if I click copper, it goes to the bottom. If I hit gold, it kicks to the bottom. So gold's at the bottom and then we can just right click on this it'll pour in around our axe head and all of a sudden boom the axe head gets destroyed but we now have an axe head cast which is pretty cool and now to make the uh the actual item with it we're going to swap around to our molten copper and pour it out into here and this should spit us out with a wonderful wonderful little bum 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 copper axe head and now you can uh, pull your pattern out if you want you can store it in a oh no you can't store it in the pattern chest that's embarrassing <sighs> don't open your mouth Ben but yeah so then you might want to throw a chest around to store some of this stuff if you want to get the full ingots out um, you can also make a ingot cast which of course I don't have any ingots on me 
but uh, in order to pull stuff out, let's grab an ingot here. We can do the same thing with the cast. Because, I mean, it's great that you can double your money on uh, putting things in the smeltery, but if you can't get it out, it ain't going to work properly. Again, make sure your gold's at the bottom. Notice how, because copper was at the top, you can't cast with copper. It just won't come out when you click it. Here we go, and this will make us the fantastic, fantastic little cast. And this should spit out the iron. And there, we've got an ingot cast now. And again, we can just flip it around. We could pour the gold out too, but... And then all of a sudden, it's just going to be boom. We've got a copper ingot. So now we can pull everything out that we need, but we need to we need to finish up with our, our tool that we're in the middle of making. So there we go. Just get that out of the way so we can see everything that's going on here. So currently, we're at an iron level, mining speed 5, attack 4.7 with three monitors. Mo <laughs> modifiers and a durability of max 54. If we take our axe head in, we can just put it in here and it will replace the axe head and see our durability is gonna go up, our mining speed's gonna go up, our attack speed's gonna go up, our level won't change anything. But it's very easy now to just keep working on your tinker's tools and keep upgrading them as you can. And remember, there's different pieces to all of these things. So you could upgrade the handle for different things. Check out the um, materials in new volume to just take a look and see what all you can do with smelting. But there we go. We have done, done that. Doom, make an existing tool of metal part. Next, they want us to enchant a sieve mesh. Well, that will be fairly easy, but I am just going to go wait for some lava to finish brewing so that we can make some more obsidian. See you in a few. All right, guys, so we got our obsidian. Um, there is kind of a nice way. Remember, any eye is your friend because uh, if we jump in here, the quick way I got, I mean, I could have waited for all the lava, but if you jump into here, you can look at the loot bags and you can actually from uncommon loot bags, get some obsidian. So that's what I did. I was able to pick some up. It is chance, but you've got the loot bags sitting around by this point probably. So you might as well be opening them and get that good stuff. There's lots of good ingots and tools and all sorts of fun stuff in here, diamonds. Um, so we've got the obsidian to make an enchanting table. We, the diamonds we have gotten from sieving previously, uh, as long as we're through iron stick or why don't I just show you guys so I don't uh, make a mistake. But diamonds, again, lots of different ways. The My go-to way on this one was the normal sieve. And using either iron stiffened or diamond stiffened mesh, we using gravel. So I've got the iron. It's only a 1% chance, but I mean, four stacks or so, you should have the couple diamonds you need. There's also a chance from the uncommon loot bags to get the diamonds as well. So, I mean, if you're open them to get obsidian, you might be open them for the other stuff. So, I, I, I mean, honestly... For now, I'd say open them. There's no sense compacting them quite yet until we're a little bit further ahead and can automate things a little bit more. So uh, the last thing we need is a book and the book is just leather and paper. And again, we can get those out of the normal loot bags. So we're gonna just make a book first, get the book up. We're gonna get our obsidian down and then get our two diamonds. And we've got an enchantment table, woo. Now, Lapis. We should have some lapis hanging around somewhere. I can't remember where where to dump it. So we're gonna need lapis. And wow, I almost moused right over the lapis. Noob. Uh, so we've got the lapis, and then uh, we need a mesh. So the mesh that we're gonna go with. Why not? I'm just gonna use my obsidian. Yes. Meh. Who needs tinker stuff now? So we've got our iron stiffened mesh. We're just gonna jump over here, and it's just like normal enchanting. Iron Siphon Mesh, Lapis Lazul, and then we're going to need some enchanting levels. I unfortunately don't have... Oh, I need one more level, and I can get Siphon Efficiency 2. I guess we're just getting Efficiency 1 for now, but, uh, I mean, we're not going to use this too, too much going forward. But there we go. We get the Siphon Efficiency, which will uh, just increase increase what we can get out of the sieves, which is fantastic. So there, that is that. We have finished with... The Stone Age. Dun, 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 dun. So that is all done, guys. The fact, now that we've got the smeltery, you can uh, double down your ores fairly nicely. We've got the mob farm going. We've got it auto-collecting. Storage is going to be an issue fairly soon for you. So one thing that I will suggest is uh, just to save a bit of space. And uh, what I found super useful, and you might have seen it down at the farm, the thing that I put the... Uh, item collector on. It's called a wood crate or a storage crate. Uh, there's three different sizes of them. I'll just pull this on up for you so you can see. There's a small storage, a medium storage, and a large storage. They all take different sorts of things. Some of them, like, ooh, Empowered Void were a little far away from that. 
medium storage, it takes a void crystal block. But the small is fairly easy. All we need is some planks, some chests, and a wood casing. And a wood casing is fairly easy to make because, oh my god, it's wood and some planks and some sticks. And you get a wood casing. Wow, so tough, guys. So tough! And then we get one wheels wood casings with four drinks, and we get a storage crate. And then with your storage crate, when you toss it down, it is the same size as, I believe, four chests. So... There we go, all nice and handy, so much nicer for the item collectors to work into this than two separate big chests side by side. So just a handy little thing that I want to pass along to you so that you can use. But that's it, guys. We finished the Stone Age. We've got it all going down. If you guys have been enjoying these, we very much appreci I appreciate a like. And uh, if you have been finding them helpful, we appreciate a sub to the channel. There's going to be more content coming this way as we work our way through this entire book. Also, if you guys really want to help support us, um, check out our live streams when they happen. Monday nights for sure and a lot of other bonus stuff. Check out our other videos on the channel. We do a wide variety of things. Plus, if you really want to help us out, you can check out our Patreon page for as little as a dollar a day. You get to see your name in the credits of our videos, plus some other fun stuff depending on uh, what you pledge. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Next time we'll be in the farming age, and we will see you all then. Bye!